Hello, today we'll mainly be checking out this magnitude 5.4 in Texas. It is November 17th, 2022, 12.44 p.m. Starting over in Western Texas yesterday at 21.32 UTC, we saw a major magnitude 5.4. This had a depth of 6.9 kilometers. Nice. Let's come over to the event page. It had 2,153 Did You Feel It reports. Of course, has a reviewed status. And we also have a tectonic summary. So this is a very interesting tectonic summary. They do note there have been some other larger earthquakes in this area of Texas. And also they mention uh, that this area has a lot of fracking, oil, and gas. And they mention that these earthquakes are actually most likely human-caused. At the end of their summary, they're talking about the 2020 earthquake, but they mention, quote, Research suggests the nearby March 2020 M5 Texas earthquake was a result of a large increase in wastewater injection in the region. They also mention, quote, The earthquake occurred within the interior of the North American plate, far from any tectonic plate boundaries, and is therefore considered an intraplate earthquake. We also have an aftershock forecast. They say, Be ready for more earthquakes. Coming over to the plotted Did You Feel the Reports, we can see actually a very wide area this was felt. Over here to the west, I think that is called Juarez, right here. It was felt all the way over there to the border of New Mexico at the very tip of Texas over there. Also north here in Lubbock, Texas and Amarillo, Texas. Even over here to the east, Fort Worth and Dallas felt shaking. And to the south, San Antonio, Austin felt shaking. There are even felt reports in Houston. Coming up into New Mexico, it looks like Roswell had shaking. Let's look for some seismic stations near Texas. So we're actually getting quite a few stations to load. Texas actually has a pretty good seismic network. We can see these are the, the, the locations of these stations I was able to pull up. I pulled up the HH1 channel. And we can see clearly the signature of that magnitude 5.4 coming in. So for forecasting, usually we see earthquake activity move west to east across the United States. So, we could possibly expect earthquake activity on the east coast. Coming over to the central United States, we continue to see a small earthquake activity, nothing of note. Checking out our volcanoes, Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens, it looks like Mount St. Helens had a very small magnitude, negative 0.1 at negative 0.2 kilometers depth today at 12.22. Coming down into Central America, looks like there was a magnitude 4.6 off coast of Guatemala at 17.43 today. Coming over to Puerto Rico, they did have a strong magnitude 5.0 today at 11.48 UTC. Coming over to the event page, there was 93 Did You Feel It reports. They also have an aftershock forecast. Be ready for more earthquakes. Now on a Discord server I'm in, I did see uh, personal felt reports for this earthquake. And I think this happened uh, in the morning local time because they mentioned uh, waking up to shaking. Googling the time conversion, it looks like it was at 7.48 a.m. local time. Checking out the West Pacific, they have had uh, nothing of note. It looks like there was a magnitude 5.8 near the Solomon Islands at 139 kilometers depth. This was yesterday at 22.26. Coming to Japan, it looks like they had an on-land magnitude 4.5 uh, just east of Tokyo. Now coming up here to northern Japan, there was a magnitude 5.1 and the USGS doesn't list anything special for it, but I do believe this one had felt reports. Heading over to Eurasia, it looks like there was a magnitude 5.2 today at 1400 near Iran. Now this had felt reports, uh, three felt reports. Finally, quickly, just coming back here to Ecuador, it looks like I missed this. There was a magnitude 5.2 in Ecuador today at 0419. Looking at four reports, it's had four four reports. Let's come over to the NHC. They are not tracking any storms at this time. Coming over to Windy, it looks like uh, GMA is still tracking uh, Tropical Depression uh, Yamaneko. We will be keeping our eyes on Texas to see if anything else develops. Thank you for checking out today's video and stay tuned for the next one.